At this point, you should probably be familiar with the V lookup, okay, where the range lookup is false. The reason, if you remember, we looked up a particular value, we chose the table array where the, the data is, we chose what column it is, and then we said the range lookup was false. And that's when we're looking for an exact match. So, for example, we were looking for maths, it went and found maths, and it told me exactly what the maths mark was. Now we're going to do a VLOOKUP with a little bit something with something a little bit different. And that's called where the range lookup is true. This is in a range of numbers. Let me show you what that means. Here you can see we have a mark and a symbol. If they get between 40, well from 40 up to 50, so it'll be 49, they have it's an F. Sorry for you. If it's a 50, it's an E, 60 is D, 70 is E. So it depends on what they get as a mark that will determine their symbol. So we're going to use the VLOOKUP to do the same thing. However, the RANGE lookup is going to be true. Why is it a range? Because it's between 40 and 50, between 50 and 60, between 60 and 70, etc, etc. So let's do that, okay? So we click inside of our symbol there. We go equals VLOOKUP. I just press tab to auto-complete the, the function. LOOKUP VALUE. Right, so I'm going to look up the mark. There it is there. Where am I going to look up this mark? I'm going to look it up over here. So I've got this is my table array over there. I'm going to make that absolute as always. Column index number, in other words, the answer is in the column, the second column. So the index number is two. So nothing different yet from the first time we did VLOOKUP. But here's the difference. The range lookup is true, not false. So I'm going to type in true. There it is there complete the function, press enter, and there it is. So now, when I go and select a different one, so science, for example. Oh dear, I'm so sorry, they did not do well in science. Let's help them, uh, let's do history, voila, 78C. And that is the VLOOKUP where the range is true.